Hi guys, it's Phil here and welcome back to the channel. So recently I moved a house and I've been looking for a job more locally because I've got rather a long commute to get into the main city. So I've been doing lots of interviews and lots of demo lessons. So what I thought I'd do today is share some of my tips to make a really good demo. So you guys are adults, right? You know all the basic tips like turn up on time, have a shower, you know, don't swear, those kind of things. So I'm going to take all of those as a given. So these tips are really to kind of make you look a little bit more professional, a little bit more refined as a teacher. So let's jump into it. So the first tip is make your demo interactive. So normally you're going to be doing a demo for other teachers or for your prospective boss. So they're normally going to be a native speaker or someone who speaks English quite well. So you've got to pretend but basically do some group activities, even if it's a one-on-one -on -one thing. Don't just lecture, make it feel like the student is actually getting involved in the lesson, they're having fun, because this is going to make you much more likely to get the job, because people wanna have fun and interactive teachers. If you really wanna stand out, why not bring in some realia or some props? For example, if you're teaching some vocabulary about the classroom, then you can bring in some classroom items. If you're doing the same for the home, you might be able to bring in the fridge. Probably not actually. So having these real objects in your demo class not only makes it more interactive and fun, but it also shows your prospective employer that you're willing to go above and beyond, and that's a great thing in a new hire. So in your demo, as with every single lesson that you teach, don't forget your concept checks. So this is when you're giving instructions where you double check that your students have understood what they have to do or what you've said. And this is, can be quite simple. So for example, you could say, hey Bob, do we have two minutes or do we have three minutes for this activity? They're like, oh, we have five minutes. Then you can tell them, no, it's two. Or Judy, do you have to write one sentence or 10 sentences? This can save you a lot of time later on when everyone's been doing the wrong thing. Another really great way to wow any employer is to use some form of technology in your demo class. So, I mean, I'm a little bit older than some of you maybe, but you know, using things like PowerPoints or using TV, film, YouTube, something like that as a speaking point or as part of your lesson, this is a really great way to show that you can have a fun and interactive lesson. I keep talking about being interactive. I think it's important. Another important thing to do for a really good demo is to double check who you are teaching. So before going into your demo, ask, you know, what is the level of the student I'm teaching? Uh, how many students are there? And what exactly is the topic of the demo lesson? If you know this, then you can grade your language to the right sort of range, and you can also prepare something that is appropriate. Another little ninja tip that I use to make me appear to be a better teacher than I actually am, well, no, that's true, is to use a plan or objectives. So when you're doing your demo, make sure that you know exactly what you're going to do, but you can also share objectives on a whiteboard with your class. For example, today we're going to be doing this and then this and then this. You may even want to have stretch goals. You know, if we have time, we're also going to be doing this. You can also call them extension tasks. This is great for employers because it shows that you're diligent and you do think about things uh, beforehand. It's also great in a practical way in a classroom because everyone knows what you're working towards and then they get a sense of achievement. Another great tip for any demo lesson is, especially if you're doing reading or writing, is to pre-teach vocabulary. And also think about any words within a text that you have to teach because the employer might try and trick you. They love to ask you definitions for tricky words, and it's not always easy when you're under pressure. So make sure you think about that beforehand so you can really impress them and blow them away. So if you've got a demo lesson coming up, hopefully some of these tips will help you perform really well. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to give me a like, and I will see you very soon in a future video. If you've got any requests for anything that you really would like me to talk about, leave me a comment. I'll see you next time. Bye.